from our Nevada newsroom tonight, a judge says a Sagal man is a risk to the community. Larry Fairfax is accused of building two pipe bombs in a murder for hire plot and will remain in federal custody. Fairfax tipped off authorities unraveling a sinister plan he says was organized by Edgar Steele. Steele allegedly hired Fairfax to kill his wife and her mother in an arranged car crash. KXLY Force Tanya Dahl is live in Coeur d'Alene tonight with new details in this case. Tanya? Well, Robin, Fairfax's attorney actually claims that the 49-year-old had no intention of harming Cindy Steele or her mother. But it's still unclear tonight why he never told investigators that he'd attached a pipe bomb to Cindy's SUV. That's a discovery that you're about to hear in frantic 911 calls. Minutes before the bomb scare at this fast lane quick lube off Highway 95, the 911 calls came flooding in. 911, where's your emergency? Um, I just pulled into the Quaker State oil change and they went underneath my car and we're going to do, they were going to do an oil change and they have found a pipe bomb on my car. That caller is Cindy Steele, who drove her 2004 Mitsubishi Endeavor into the Coeur d'Alene shop last Tuesday. Workers quickly discovered the explosive device attached to her SUV. We have a car come in to be service and it looks like they have a pipe bomb underneath the car. Court documents say that the pipe bomb removed by a bomb squad had been underneath Cindy's vehicle held by a magnet for at least two weeks. Investigators say that Larry Fairfax told them he built two pipe bombs for Edgar Steele as part of a murder for hire plot. The targets, Steele's wife and mother-in-law. Court documents say that Fairfax originally tipped off authorities to the plot, but only confessed to attaching the bomb to Cindy's SUV after it was found. I'm a, yes, I'm away from the car. I'm not in the building. I don't know where. I'm just away from the car. Fairfax's attorney claimed in federal court today that the bomb was built to not detonate, and Fairfax was pretending to go along with the plot because he was fearful of Edgar Steele. An FBI agent testified in court that Fairfax took two trips to Oregon where Cindy's mother lived, checking at one point to see if the bomb had fallen off and believing it was gone. And Fairfax's wife was also in federal court today and she testified that her husband told her he had gone to Oregon to make sure that Cindy Steele wasn't having an affair. We also learned in court today that Fairfax's family had no idea that he'd received $10,000 in silver coin as a down payment from Edgar Steele. And Steele's expected right back here in federal court tomorrow morning. Reporting live in Coeur d'Alene, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.